Hi, welcome back. On my previous video, Helltech Laura V3 SPI I2C and Serial, we were talking about the pins I had discovered in the pin definition file in the package for the Helltech Laura Y5 32V3. Okay, and I get this comment from this person. They want to hook a Neo 6M GPS module to the Helltech Wi-Fi Laura 32 V3, and they're asking me for help. He's got, they've got it connected correctly. I checked them on that. And, yeah, according to the, the printing on the bottom of the board, it says pins 44 and 43 are TX and RX, respectively. I haven't been able to find the official V3 pinout from Helltech, but I did today while I was working on this video. Yeah, I, th I think if you were to hook the power to the power pins and not have a PC attached to the USB port, then the RX and TX pins would probably work with that GPS module. Hey, I know I got I2C working with the MPU6050, so you're going to want to check that video out. Yeah, and so when I look closer at this, you see that says CP2102. So TX and RX stamped on the board actually are assigned to the CP2102, which is the chip that communicates with your PC and the board via the USB port. We can't have a double occupancy on those pins. Uh, like I say, it might work if you powered the board separately and didn't have anything plugged into USB. But the sketch I'm using is relatively simple. It's just taking the GPS info. Well, let's wait for it here. Yeah, you see no GPS detected check wiring. So it's not getting the signal from the GPS unit to the Helltech. And that's on the pins 44 and 43. All right, let's look again here. Hey, look, 46 and 45. Pins 46 and 45 are wide open. They're not assigned to anything. Let's use those. Literally, all I had to do was unplug it and go straight across and plug it in on the other side. <laughs> like I say, the sketch that I'm using is remarkably simple. It's just taking the GPS data on the serial one and putting it out serial on the USB port back to the PC to be read in the serial monitor. So I'm changing the pins 44 and 43, that's RX and TX, to 46, 45, RX and TX. Let's go ahead and send that. Okay, so, so you see here in the wiring diagram, you've got ground going to ground, you got 5 volt going to VCC on the GPS, then that's RX going to TX on the Helltech board, pin 45. And then lastly, that's RX on TX on the GPS going to RX on the Helltech board pin 46. And you can see the red light flashing on the GPS chip, meaning we've already got a good strong fix because it's been lit up for a long time, even though we haven't been able to read the data. Let's go ahead and open the serial monitor now that we've uploaded the program. Here we go. Oh, there's the data. You got time is correct, date is correct, and uh, I had to blur out the the GPS data because I didn't want to dox myself in my own video. Okay, well, I hope that answers this person's question here. Uh, feel free to leave comments, questions on my videos. Sometimes I'll take them on as a challenge if it's interesting enough and I'm not busy already. I have a lot of projects going on. I might update this uh, or I might just make this GitHub site private because uh, we have the new official pin diagram from Helltech now, and it's, it's better. Yeah, make sure to check out that video where I make I2C work. Look for the links down below so you can get this official pin diagram. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.